This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2235, How to Use a Traveler's Mindset to Create Joy in Daily Life, by Kat Medina of katmedina.com. And I'm your narrator, Justin Mollick, the guy that reads blogs or articles to you every single day of the year, including weekends and holidays. I appreciate you listening every single day. It really means a lot. I could not be here every day if you weren't tuning in along with me. But enough of the sappy stuff. Let's get right to our next post as we optimize your life. How to Use a Traveler's Mindset to Create Joy in Daily Life by Kat Medina of katmedina.com. The tiny beat up dots and taxis sped through the narrow winding mountain roads high in the Ecuadorian Andes. The driver blasted salsa music and barely let off the gas as he passed other drivers, regardless of all the do not pass road signs that dotted the mountainside. A quick two honks followed by tracing his hands and the sign of the cross on his body was sufficient luck to pass on the countless blind turns. Too bad I wasn't Catholic. I had to rely solely on the hope of the honks. On the right side of the road stood a steep, never-ending mountain wall with the occasional remnants of a recent landslide and on the left, a severe drop to a ravine thousands of feet below without a single guardrail to obstruct the view or the occasional unlucky car. The cool, crisp mountain air blended with the smell of burning trash from the tiny corrugated metal shack homes that we passed along the way, shocking my senses in a way that woke me up to how different my life was about to be. I've always been passionate about traveling, and as a child I would daydream about my future worldly adventures as a hopeful explorer rather than walking down the aisle with Prince Charming. Travel was equal to happiness for me. This trip to South America was one of my many solo adventures abroad that was driven by a deep desire to feel the aliveness that comes from going to a place where I didn't know a soul and perceiving life with refreshing novelty. It was during that trip to Ecuador so many years ago that I began to notice the clear differences between who I was on my travels and who I was at home. We all know that feeling, the easygoing joy that naturally arises when we are on vacation. We watch the world around us with fresh eyes, awed by the unfamiliarity of some far-off foreign land. The unexpected setbacks that we inevitably encounter during our travels are viewed as part of the adventure. We are able to accept them with humor, knowing that they are the elements that make up a good story. We participate in the moment at hand and uplift it by being open-hearted. We meet new people, try new things, and appreciate the differences rather than avoid or condemn them. And then our trip nears its end and we return home. We fall back into our routine where we attempt to control the uncontrollable, see challenges as unfair personal attacks from life, and become blind to the wonders and gifts around us because we've grown so accustomed to having them. For the third year in a row, the United States has dropped in the rankings of the World Happiness Report and has never even made it into the top 10 despite being the land of opportunity. Something is seriously wrong. Too many of us are moving through our days on autopilot, having settled for a life of mediocrity that's occasionally sprinkled with a brief and fleeting joy from a recent vacation. Before we know it, life will have passed us by and we're guaranteed to look back with defeated eyes of regret, wondering what if. What if we had actually listened to the voice within desperately begging us to find genuine happiness in the now and pursue that which fulfills us instead of burying it out of fear or doubt. The dire state of the world, the violence, environmental destruction, and outrageous cost of living has created an overwhelming sense of hopelessness and despair in many. As a result, people are just trying to get by, barely even scratching the surface of their true potential. People are craving more depth from life, but they don't know how to get it. What if there was a simple solution? What if it was possible to shift your mindset so you viewed your daily life as though you were visiting it for the first time? When you embody a traveler's mindset, you're able to create joy in daily life, regardless of whether you're sipping margs on a sandy beach or standing in line at a crowded Trader Joe's. It's the key to living with purpose, appreciating each moment, and truly enjoying the journey no matter where you are. Here are my top three tips to shift your mindset to vacation mode anytime and anywhere. One. See challenges as part of the adventure. A canceled flight forcing you to take an overnight bus from Bolivia to Peru. A stolen wallet while taking the crowded Italian metro. Getting lost in the winding, narrow streets of Morocco. When we travel, we experience countless unexpected setbacks, and although they blow up at the time, they tend to be the most interesting parts of our journey in hindsight. We're able to accept them with humor, knowing that they are the components that make up a kick story. 
What if you changed the way you looked at challenges in your daily life and started to see them for what they really are? Opportunities to improvise, overcome, and welcome as part of the adventure. Two, swap expectations for appreciation. When we travel, we view our destination with a sense of wonder, awestruck by the newness of it all. We tend to be more liberal with our gratitude, appreciating the little things and letting go of unmet expectations. Our rose-colored glasses are often our most used travel accessories. What if we didn't just wait to bust them out when we're eating chocolate croissants in a French cafe? In daily life and abroad, what's wrong is always available, but so is what's right. When you swap expectations for appreciation, your whole life becomes one amazing adventure. Three, participate in the present moment. Ah, vacation. One of the few times in life when we are effortlessly open and receptive to the present moment. We meet new people, experience new things, try new foods, and appreciate and accept cultural differences with curiosity. And yet upon our return home, we see life's spontaneity as something that will make us late or keep us from our busy schedule. If you want to cultivate joy in daily life, participate in it. See reality for what it is and be actively present in the moment at hand. You'll be amazed at where your journey takes you when you ease up and let life be your guide. When we approach reality from a traveler's perspective, there is an undeniable impact on our quality of life. We experience a certain feeling that comes with surrendering to the present moment and trusting the process. It is a mix of appreciation and open-heartedness, and when we connect to that state, we tap into something incredible. We allow ourselves the opportunity to see life with the fresh eyes of admiration it deserves. We become open to the synchronicities that will take us beyond ourselves. Regardless of whether you're a globetrotter or a homebody, when you embody a traveler's mindset, you are granted a ticket for living your best life, one of wholehearted adventure and unbridled joy, no matter where you are. You just listened to the post titled, How to Use a Traveler's Mindset to Create Joy in Daily Life by Kat Medina of katmedina.com. All right, I'll keep this ending short for the weekend. Thank you for being here and I'll see you tomorrow for Minimalist Monday, where your optimal life awaits.